Okay, right here is a 1990 Caterpillar D11N. The D11M was introduced by Caterpillar in 1986 as a replacement for the original D10 model. This was not a new model to Caterpillar's product line, and the D10 did not become the D10N as some people think. The original D10 evolved into the D11N, which you see right here. Now I'm going to take and show you around this tractor and point out some interesting features and tell you some technical information about it. And I'll also tell you about some of the changes and upgrades that were made to the D11N over the years by Caterpillar. So let's go take a look. The big blade that you see on the front of this D11N is an 11U blade. It's rated at 45 cubic yards and measures 20 feet 10 inches across. Caterpillar also offered a smaller 11SU blade, which was rated at 33 and a half yards and measured 18 feet 4 inches across. When Caterpillar upgraded the D10 to the D11N, they made a lot of improvements to the tractor. One of them was the crawler frame was made longer and the crawler pads were made wider, which allowed the D11N to have 6% less ground pressure compared to the D10. Caterpillar also beefed up the frame and superstructure on this tractor and made the front bulkhead plate one single piece compared to on an older D10. And the D11N also featured a thicker roller frame tube and bottom guards. On the back of this D11N you can see a single shank ripper, but Caterpillar also offered a multi-shank ripper depending on what the customer preferred. And in 1987, Caterpillar Custom Products first offered a hydraulic impact ripper for the D11N, which was probably one of the most cool and famous attachments offered for this tractor. But it was discontinued in the early 1990s because the downside to the impact ripper was when the ripper was in operation, it created a lot of shock and vibration, which led to stress cracking in areas on the dozer's frame. Up top, you can see the two cylinders to tilt the ripper forward and back, and below you can see the two cylinders to raise and lower the ripper. Now let's go up and check out the engine and then I'll take you up inside the operator's cab and show you the control setup. A D11N is powered by a Caterpillar D3508 DITA four-stroke twin turbocharged after-cooled diesel engine, which you can see right under the hood here. This produces 770 horsepower for the dozer. This was more powerful than the original D348 that was used in the D10 model. The engine also was more fuel efficient and provided 5% less fuel burn per cubic yard of material moved. Okay, let's go and check out the operator's cab. Here you can get a good overview of the operator's cab on a D11N. Okay, out in front here you can see all the gauges to monitor the machine when it's running. This hand lever you see in front is the throttle. These two hand levers you see on my left side are steering clutches and they control each track. Right here is the gear shift for the transmission. This is in the neutral position right here. There's three forward speeds and three reverse speeds on a D11N. This hand lever that you see on my right side controls all the functions of the dozer blade out in front. And the hand lever that you see right behind it here controls all the functions of the shank ripper in the back, which you can see looking out the rear window there. And here's a crystal clear operator's view if you were running a D11N.
The D11N featured two air intakes as well as two air cleaners and twin exhaust stacks. On the right side of the dozer, this is the hydraulic oil tank, and on the back is the diesel fuel tank. It was no doubt that when Caterpillar introduced the D11N, it was one mighty tractor. Later on in 1993, Caterpillar updated the engine to a newer Cat 3508 EUI. This provided the same amount of power but gave precise fuel delivery. Also, Caterpillar updated the cab and gave the dozer the new computer monitoring system. The overall working weight of a D11N prior to 1993 was 104 tons with a single shank ripper and 112 tons with the impact ripper. After 1993, the standard working weight for a D11N with a single shank ripper and an 11U blade, which you see right here, is 107 tons. With a multi-shank ripper, this dozer would weigh in at 111 tons. Finally, in 1996, the D11N was replaced by the new D11R model. But there she is, a mighty 1990 Caterpillar D11N.